Previous administrations in the country, right from independence, have come up with many programs and intervention for industrial, economy, and technological development. However, there is a need to show up investments in research and development. <laughs> to bridge this gap, the Executive Vice Chairman of the National Agency for Science and Engineering Infrastructure, Professor Mohammed Haruna, has refurbished and equipped one of the engineering departments of Kaduna Polytechnic. The building is equipped with state-of-the-art facilities, including a 10 kVA solar power and projectors for teaching, among others. Dignitaries at the event also used the opportunity to harp on the roles alumni associations in schools can play in the face of the dwindling funding. Today's location marks another milestone in the history of Kaduna Polytechnic. And my joy essentially drives from the fact that the commission of this lecture theater has become a reality. We are in, age, in the age where rows of alumni and alumni associations have assumed prominence. This is the first time the Kaduna Polytechnic community will be gathering to celebrate an alumnus for his wonderful contribution to the development of the institution. For Kaduna Poly to honor an individual, an institution that teaches high-level technical skills, which is needed for nation building, is something very significant. For the award recipient, it is imperative the government pay more attention and set aside dedicated funds for research and development. I'm telling the management of Kaduna Polytechnic and the Alumni Association that inshallah I will continue to remain a good ambassador not only of my family but of this great institution and this important association. In return, the Polytechnic Management has named the Engineering Department after the Naseni boss as a morale booster.